welcome back to another video. We're back, back with the workouts. 2022, so I thought why not start with one of my favorite workouts to do on YouTube and that's kettlebell stuff. So, we've got three workouts to do today. You don't have to do every single one of these in the same session, trust me, you won't be able to anyway. So I'm basically giving you three workouts in one video, so you can thank me later. So, we're going to start with the warm up. Let's go. It's going to be a ladder workout and it's going to be absolutely awful. So I hope you're ready for this. We're going to be doing deadlifts into cleans, into thruster, and then overhead lunges, reverse overhead lunges. The idea of this workout is we're going to start at two and then four, six, eight, 10, 12 reps, and then back down to 10, eight, six, four, Two. Oh, that was good. I actually got that right. <laughs> uh, reps. And the idea is you do the two reps on one side and then repeat that on the other side and then four for you get the idea. Two kettlebells, just do it in order. So two on both sides, four, etc. Remember, even though it's for time, if you need a bit of a break, if you need to rest in between, which you will do, make sure you do so. This workout is for time, so keep going until you finish the end entire thing. Nice and simple. I am using 28 kilos. Of course you don't have to. On to part two. <laughs> so workout two is an EMOM. You will be doing, first minute you're going to do Russian swings. Second minute you're going to be doing squat cleans. Third minute you're going to be doing goblet squats. Fourth minute, you're going to be doing snatches. Also, you can do this with two kettlebells, as you can see in the video. Again, same amount of reps, just using two kettlebells. You can scale, you can take the weight up. That's absolutely fine. An EMOM means every minute on the minute. So the first minute you complete the amount of reps on the Russian swings, the remainder time you rest. The second minute, straight into the squat cleans, complete the reps, rest for the remainder time, third minute, etc. The goal of EMOMs is to try and have at least 20 second rest in between each. Otherwise, it starts to get messy, you start to get floppy, your, your technique starts to get floppy, 
So if you are not having at least 20 seconds rest between, scale down the reps, take the reps down. However, if you feel like you're doing this in quick time and you, you want to take it up, you can add more reps, that's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do now is show you a demo of the workout in real time so you can see exactly how this workout goes. So if you enjoy this workout, make sure you check out my app. It's only a dollar for the first month. I have an awesome kettlebell program in. It's eight weeks and it's a mixture of everything from mobility, functional training, conditioning, bodybuilding, and there's other training programs on there as well. So I'll put the link in the description. Check it out. You would not be disappointed. <laughs> Okay, so part three, part three is, I have titled this one, Is This Real Life 2.0? If you haven't done the first one, it's in one of my other Caswell videos, you would know that this is going to be very, very painful. <laughs> so this workout is for time. It, it's a chipper workout for time, and you will be doing 100 double unders, or you can do singles, or you can do high knees if you can't skip. If you can't jump around in your house, you can do uh, air squats. That's absolutely fine. And then you'll be doing 50 American swings, American get well swings. 50 clusters. Fifty burpees over the bar. Or you can do down ups. If you can't do any of that, if you can't jump around in your house, just do push ups. Then 50 cleans, so four cleans from the floor. Fifty plank pass throughs. Fifty upside down goblet squats. And then finish with 100 double unders again or high knees. 
four squats. All of that, yes, it's a lot. Now, the fun part is you don't have to stick to the numbers exactly how it's written. What does that mean? So you have to do the 100 double unders, that's the buy-in, you have to do that. But you can break down the rep. So for example, if you want to break it down in 10, so 10 American swings, 10 clusters, 10 burpees over the bar, etc., etc. So you can break it down, you can do five sets. However, if you feel like it, you can do, let's say 20 American swings, five, five, it will make it slightly more complicated. So, so divide it into numbers that are manageable. The idea is to finish this as quick as you can with as little rest as possible. Yes, it's going to be painful, trust me. So make sure you are well hydrated for this one and uh, you're ready for it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you want to learn how to kettlebell clean, snatch, check out my older videos. I have done loads and loads of demos on how to kettlebell clean and snatch and swing. And then you can have more workouts into your arsenal to use whenever you want to. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Don't worry, there will be a follow along kettlebell coming soon. More dumbbell stuff, obviously in the gym, bodybuilding workouts, mobility too, that's coming as well. So stay tuned.